to write a novel and quite another to have it published. And more and more independent publishers are emerging. It can be a great way to go, but there are some simple steps to consider before venturing down that path. Our guest today is a freelance writer and publisher. Her new book due out this fall is simply called Self-Publishing 101. So she's the person to ask. Debbie Ellickson is with us today. Welcome. Thanks for having me. Yeah, you've gone so, you've gone so far from uh, writing that you're actually going to write a book about getting a book published. Yes, yes. You decided to share. Has it been a rocky road? Well, actually, I help save people the, the thousands of dollars I've already spent. Mm -hmm. And I do, I currently do book publishing workshops. And uh, it basically, having gone through the education process, it can be very expensive if you don't know what you're doing. This, uh, you know, people kept asking me about publishing. So I started listening and thought, well, I better do something with it if everybody's asking me these questions. So don't you think with the um, such so many changes in such a short amount of time technology wise I mean the computer how did we ever live without it oh, you know yes. being able to do desktop anything uh, don't you think that's changed I mean there are so many people producing their own book true but, but. There, there is a process and unless you are qualified you know unless you're a graphic designer by design and that's your job mm -hmm. hire somebody else to do it yeah there's one of the tips right there before we get to uh, some okay. simple tips that I know you have for us today give me a little bit of background for you where did you what path have you come from <laughs> that takes you to uh, to now you know your life consumed with uh, writing and self-publishing well I've been a, a writer for many years and, and full-time freelance probably for the last five or six years and uh, much of my work uh, I do a lot of writing for the home building industry and mm -hmm. also sports writer so I cover the flames and do a lot of sports writing and my own personal books are sports related so Is that right yes now do you get out there and play yourself too or are you just a fan well <laughs> <laughs> yeah sometimes I play but uh, I just uh, <laughs> I, I rather actually run the organizations. I, I spent uh -huh. actually uh, 18 years uh, managing and, and uh, administrating junior football. So I see. Uh, so you'll be watching the staffs this season very closely. Yes. <laughs> see yes. what happens there. Definitely. Okay. Well, so a background in sports and writing, good stuff. And now you've uh, you've published a few books of your own, like you said, focusing on sports. And now this next book, are you still working on the self-publishing book or is it ready to go? It's uh, gone to the uh, publisher and, and I actually like the coup of having a traditional publisher publish a book about self-publishing. <laughs> so I, I did that on purpose, <laughs> but uh, it's actually gone into the publisher so they're doing their whatever they're doing, uh, their edits and stuff like that. Now when you say you did that on purpose, why? What does that mean? I just like the, uh, the irony the of it. Irony of it. <laughs> There you go. Well, let's get to some of the tips uh, that we could, we could pass along. If someone at home has written this brilliant manuscript and they do want to do it themselves, what are the things to consider? Well, there's three things that I find that uh, go into uh, producing a book, and it, and it really doesn't matter if you're going to self-publish it or tr traditionally publish mm -hmm. it. First, it has to be uh, edited. It has to be a good read. So, uh, you know, there's, there are some processes to become a better editor, a better writer, but if you don't have time or, or the effort for that, hire somebody, hire somebody comparable to do that. And you have to be very comfortable with that person because you're bleeding all over the page. Yeah. So, so it has to be... There's going like, to be criticism. There's going well, to be restructuring. It's handing your baby over to somebody to, to, to look after. Mm -hmm. So the editor has to be in sync with what your message is. And then the second thing is if you're going to produce it yourself. Make sure that you hire a graphic designer. You don't want it to look like a self-published book because just because it's a self-published book doesn't mean it can't get in a bookstore. So I mean we're, changing, we're changing the perception of self-publishing. Yes. In fact, bringing the quality up. It's about oh, quality. Yes, yes. So you really want it to sit on the shelf with every other book out there and nobody's going to know the difference anyway right. um, if you do your job up front. And then the third thing <laughs> Everybody thinks all they have to do is write a book and voila, or money gets thrown to you off trees. And, Hardly. Um, <laughs> it does, again, it doesn't matter whether it's a self-published book or a traditionally published book. You have to get out there and sell it yourself. It's marketing, marketing, marketing. And uh, so you can, uh, you have to get really creative thinking outside the box. And uh, so it really doesn't matter. Nobody really cares that you wrote a book. They just, you know. You have to make it worthwhile, like make it interesting. Why, why should they read it? 
It's interesting, isn't it? We've interviewed a lot of authors here in studio at Shaw TV, and uh, and uh, some of the you know the smaller books, maybe not self-published, but they've you know they've gone the, the uh, more traditional route. But even so, it's about some people are so shy, and mm -hmm. it's difficult to sell yourself yes. sometimes for um, artists, painters as well. The people that really get their work shown and everything else, you do have to step outside of that shyness, and yes. and. It's a reality in this day and age that you have to market. Yes. Oh, yeah. And and there's a lot of, I mean, with the Internet, oh, my goodness, there's mm -hmm. so many resources out there. And just, you know, Google creative marketing ideas and you'll get a whack of websites help come is up available. to help you. Yes, yeah. Yeah, so. readily available. <clears throat> well, good stuff. So when can we expect to see the self-publishing uh, <laughs> uh, diary here, the self-publishing 101? It'll be published this fall, so okay. September, October, whenever... Uh, they get it into the bookstores. And when you do that, are you also going to launch maybe some more seminars and that sort of thing in the Calgary area? I do. I just finished a book publishing workshop. I do them through Chinook Learning. Okay. And uh, I have two coming up in the fall. And, and a new one called Manuscripts uh, Made Easy. So helping people actually develop a manuscript as well. All right. So some of that information, I'm sure, is available on your website. Am I right? Some of it. Or okay. they can at least access me through the website okay. for more info. Good stuff. Well, thanks for joining us today. Thank you very much. All right. And have good fun this uh, this summer and fall with the stamps. Yes. <laughs> okay. Our guest today is Debbie Ellickson with uh, Freelance Communications. For more information on Debbie's work and self-publishing, you can log on to her website. There is a link to it on ours at start.shaw.ca. Just select Local Content Calgary and follow the links.